Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm working on my 2005 Volkswagen Passat, or I guess my wife's 2005 Volkswagen Passat. As you can see, I have the uh, valve cover off here, and I've already done this side, so but we're going to kind of talk about it a little bit. Uh, the reason that this whole project began was there were some uh, engine oil leaks. You could smell it and see some smoke rising out of like right around here and right around here. And uh, I did a lot of work on trying to figure it out. I was really concerned it was the, the rear mange seal, but it's really just not, it wasn't actually outputting enough oil for it to be that. So what I determined it was, was these, these caps here. Uh, and there's a, a couple good videos on, uh, about them. And I just, I really don't like how those guys are replacing them. Uh, there's a much better way to do it that actually seats them properly and you're not like, pressing them in and they're actually going to get the right right torque specs and all that um, so these these covers as you can see this one's actually uh, damaged right there and damaged right there and I think that's that's just it on this but they also have these threads and on uh, on the other one they were part, partially missing but you got these threads on the interior here and that that's kind of what pr creates that seal so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate them. Now you're going to the best way to do is just to feel around back here. You're going to to feel back there and you'll feel something like the ridges on the top here, but basically right in the back of your valve covers, it's right about here. It's right here on this side. I mean like literally, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't think you can. Uh yeah, you can see the new one right there. And uh back here, it's uh it's actually like here, let me move that out of the way. Uh it is right uh you can see in uh, let's see if i can see it right down there that's the uh the other new one down here right down here now to get at this one you're gonna have to remove this this uh valve cover which is actually not particularly difficult it's uh you know, kind of the same as this one but this one you actually have to remove the air box and all the other assemblies there but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to need a t30 bit and you're gonna need a, a side-winding uh, screwdriver. You can get both of these at Harbor Freight. Do not use the T30 bit that you see on the side. They've got this big, gigantic bit case. It's red, it was up front for me. They're like eight bucks. It's got like 100 bits or something like that. And it has one that actually fits the side drive screwdriver. And the reason that you need the side drive, if you can see down there, is there is just hardly any room here to get this in. Uh, so you're gonna have to get in there, and then you're gonna have to basically loosen this up. I'm gonna get that. Uh, this piece right here comes off, and there's a matching one on this side underneath the valve covers. But this piece comes off in its entirety. Um, I had to clean it off pretty extensively. And then you just basically put the cap, and it, you can see the slot for it. You put the cap right in there, you take the old cap out, put the new one in. Uh, and then you tighten it back down as tight as possible. Um, you really need the... Uh, like I've tried, uh, I've tried, uh, uh, you know, like finger wrenches and things like that. But you need this because there, there's actually a fair bit of torque on those nuts. I think some of them even have Loctite in them. But once you get that out, it comes out pretty easily, and that should fix your fix your rear oil leak. So go to Arbor Freight, pick up your Sidewinder screwdriver, a T30 Torx, and that's how to fix an oil oil leak on the rear of your engine.